In another video, I have shown how to generate the DDR4 controller IP for Xilinx devices to interface properly with our radiation tolerant DDR4 product. Now, you will be able to see in practice our 4GB DDR4 memory interfaced with the Xilinx Kintex Ultrascale FPGA. For this demonstration, I use a HTG 830 development kit from iTech. This development kit was selected because it features a Xilinx Kintex Ultrascale FPGA and the FPGA is connected to the DDR4 sodium slot. Inside the sodium slot, I have inserted a sodium adapter. As you can see, our DDR4 memory is mounted on it for the purpose of this demonstration. The FPGA is a Xilinx KU115, which is hidden under the cooling system here. I want to point out that the KU115 shares the same kind of programmable logic as other Xilinx devices. Hence, this demonstration is also applicable to other devices such as the radiation tolerant KU060 and Zinc Ultrascale Plus devices. The demonstration application that we have implemented on the FPGA consists in two parts, the DDR4 controller and a main process that requests memory accesses and displays the results. The DDR4 controller IP is responsible for interfacing with our DDR4 memory and I have shown in another video how this can be easily generated in Vivado. The main process performs periodic writes and reads to the memory. It first writes 100 words in the memory, then reads the same 100 words. After reading, it checks that there is no error by comparing the data read with the data that was written. This process runs about every second and sends the result to a terminal for display on my laptop through this USB to serial connection. I have to mention that this process has not been optimized in terms of execution and it is not synchronized with the DDR4 controller. Now that we have presented the demonstration setup, let's see how it behaves in practice. On my screen, you can see that the FPGA is sending some logs about every second. Each time, it performs the writes and reads cycles. In the logs, we display the average data rate during the write and during the read operations. If you recall from our DDR4 memory specifications, the maximum data rate is 2400 mega transfer per second, which is indeed what we reach in practice. Sometimes we see that average data rate can be lower, but it is an artifact on this demonstration due to the main process not being well synchronized with the DDR4 controller. Last but not least, we see that no error is reported, meaning that the connection of the Xilinx FPGA with our DDR4 is working perfectly. To summarize, Teledyne E2V provides easy and quick IP generation in Xilinx Vivado for its DDR4 memory. And this can be then used in practice to interface efficiently our DDR4 memory with the programmable logic of Kintex Ultrascale and Zinc Ultrascale Plus devices from Xilinx. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to get in touch with us to know more.